Hello learners I'm Mishwani from techabu.co and welcome to today's session about computers so before we begin let's discuss today's agenda first of all we will discuss what is a computer and then we will elaborate the history of computers after that we will also discuss the basic operations of computer classification of computers and in the end we will discuss advantages of computers so let's get started the word computer comes from the latin word computer which means to calculate so we can define a computer is an electronic device that uses input devices to accept data and instructions store them until they are needed process them and generate the output via output devices we have used multiple terms in the definition of computer for example electronic device input and output device A computer is described as an electronic device because it is made up of electronic components and uses electric energy such as electricity to operate. In the definition we have used the term input devices which is the process of using input devices to collect or accept data. Input can take many forms ranging from keyboard commands to data from another computer or device. While the output is the outcome of the transformation process or the result of the processing. On the monitor the result of the processing operations are displayed users can hear the results of sound processing through speakers now let's discuss the basic operations and components of computers all computers perform four basic operations input processing output and storage to carry out any task input operation it captures the data from user or it is the process of accepting data or information by using input the computer can do any process processing operation it is the transformation process to convert the input into output the central processing unit performs processing tasks under the direction of a program to process the data the cpu stores the program instructions and the data in the computer's memory where it is directly accessible for processing output operation it is the result which comes from the transformation process or it is the outcome of the processing the monitor shows the results of processing operations on the screen speakers enable users to hear the results of sound processing the printer on the other hand generates output on a paper storage operation it is the process of storing the data or information or instructions so that the user can retain and retrieve it whenever required computer data storage is referred to as storage or memory which can save digital data examples are ram hard disk and removable memory sticks components of computers okay let's understand the two most essential components of computers hardware and software hardware refers to the physical and touchable parts of the computer these are the main electronic components that make up a computer computer hardware is made up of interconnected electronic devices that can be used to control the functioning input and the output of a computer where a software is a set of instructions that instruct the hardware how to perform its functions software is often called a computer program the majority of software must be loaded on the physical disk before being utilized however some can be loaded directly into memory from the storage media storage devices monitors printers processors keyboards and the mouse are the most common examples of hardware while there are only two types of software system software and application software system software is the collection of programs that operate and control a computer system while application software is a type of software that can be used to accomplish a wide range of tasks it is not restricted to a single function it helps in solving real life problems for example office suite media players and enterprise software are the examples of application software history of computers computers have a long history beginning with basic designs in the early 19th century and progressing through the 20th century to revolutionize the world we can divide the history of computer into two ages the early age and the modern age early computer devices all machines that can perform computations or we can say calculations are referred to as computing devices these computations vary from anything as basic as adding two integers the primitives were the first to utilize a counting device sticks stones and bones were used as counting tools 
let's discuss some of the most common computer devices from the earliest to the most modern. Abacus The abacus which originally appeared in Asia some 5000 years ago and is still in use today is said to be the first computer. This system used a method of sliding bits organized in a rack to allow users to perform calculations. It was a wooden rack with metal rods on which bits were attached. To conduct arithmetic computations, the abacus operator moved the bits according to specified guidelines. Some countries such as China, Russia and Japan still use an abacus. Leibniz Calculator Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz, a German mathematician and philosopher, invented the computing machine in 1964 out of gears and dials that could add, subtract, and multiply. A set of gears and dials powered Leibniz's mechanical multiplier. Difference Engine Charles Babbage, an English professor of mathematics, is considered the father of modern computers. Charles Babbage conceived the difference engine in 1822 as a mechanism for solving differential equations. Difference engine is a mechanical calculator that automatically tabulates polynomial functions. Analytical engine After working on the difference engine for 10 years, Babbage was immediately inspired to begin work on the first general purpose computer, which he termed the analytical engine. Analytical engine was a mechanical computer that used punch cards as input. It has the ability to solve any mathematical problem and store data in permanent memory. Ada Lovelace, the first computer programmer Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace is known as the first computer programmer because she was the person who suggested Charles Babbage use a binary number system in his analytical engine and operate it for the first time. Advantages of Computers In the end, let's talk about some major advantages of computers. Productivity you can boost your productivity by using a computer. For example, if you have basic understanding of word processor, you can rapidly write, edit, save and print documents. Internet It lets you send emails, view articles, gather information, use different social media platforms and more by connecting you to the internet. You can connect to your long distance friends and family members by connecting to the internet. Storage you can store a significant quantity of data on a computer such as your projects, ebooks, paper, videos, images, songs and much more. Organized data. It not only lets you save the information but also helps you to organize it. You can for example create separate folder to hold different types of data and information allowing you to search for information quickly and efficiently. Skills improvement. If you struggle with spelling and punctuation, it might help you to write better English. Similarly, if you are not strong at mathematics or have a poor memory, you can utilize a computer to conduct computations and save the results. Entertainment You can listen to music, stream movies, play games and more on a computer. The computer has become an integral part of our daily life. There are several tasks that we perform daily that need the use of a computer.